The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Captain Dennis here with Squall Marine Divers. Today we're going to a location we call Bassy Rocks because it's some rocks and there's bass all over them. So without further ado, let's go down and see what's going on down here. First thing we're going to do is get to the bottom and check out the anchor. Make sure that's in there pretty good. Not too good, so we can make a couple of changes. Put this in here a little bit better. And here we are, here are the bass. There's a few down here. These guys are pretty big. They're about like 18 to 24 inches long. And you can see as I'm swimming towards them, they're all darting away from me. And here's some of the larger stones that I think they swim in and out of. There's another guy, there's another guy. A lot more oxygen in this part of the sound. And these are some pretty big stones. These are this one's probably about eight feet tall, give or take. You can see the striped bass are being a little shy. Underneath this rock, look around here and you can see there's a lobster underneath here. And he's a dark one, so he's probably close to shedding. I'm going to do the old leave the camera behind trick, and this was going on right behind me. Quite a few uh, striped bass down here today. And again, a lot of beautiful marine plants down here. This looks like stuff you'd see down in the, in the ocean. And quite a few more. These guys were just doing big circles around me. Gorgeous, gorgeous animals.
It's been about four years of filming and I finally was able to get striped bass on camera. I would say the visibility today was probably about nine, ten feet, which is great for diving in the sound. I guess the further east we go, the better it gets. You can see there, these uh, little plants aren't having a hard time. It's not a coral reef, but it's got its own kind of beauty. Lots of little bait fish in and around these rocks. Here's that lobster again. Looks like somebody was fishing here recently. Part of the line, but no hook. So maybe the fish took it. Little black fish hanging out here. All in all, this was a really fun dive. I plan on making my way back out east into the cleaner water of the sound. And you can see that striped bass aren't the only things congregating down here. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's dive on Bassy Rocks. Make sure if you haven't, Click that button in the lower right hand corner of your screen to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get notifications of our new videos. You can also check us out at squallsmarine.com, Squallus Marine Divers on Facebook, and Squallus Marine Divers on Instagram. Put all kinds of kooky pictures on there. So there's all kinds of ways for you to follow along and dive with us. Check out fish, shipwrecks, you name it. All kinds of cool stuff. And if you go to our website, squallsmarine.com, you'll find our interactive dive map where you can zoom in and out, go left, go right, go north, go south, and dive all the sites that we've done. This is our 91st video, and we hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. Until then, I'm Captain Dennis.